Don't forget to tighten the lock. Get the gimbal in the normal position by opening the axis locks. Make sure there's enough space between the camera and the gimbal. Don't forget to lock it in place. Get the power cable from the camera and connect it into the power box at the bottom. Make sure the cables are stowed in place so they don't touch the gimbal. For SDI, get the curly cable and connect it to the SDI out one and the gimbal. Make sure that all required accessories are mounted. The lens cap should also be dismounted. Be sure the three axes are locked. Start by unlocking the tilt axis to tilt the camera with the lens pointing up. Loosen the levers on the sides. Use the knobs at the bottom to adjust the vertical tilt balance and be careful that the tick marks on both sides match up. The camera should now stay balanced without tilting up or down. Rotate the camera looking forward. Unlock the lever at the back and loosen the top securing knob. Then use the knob underneath the camera to adjust the balance. The camera should now stay steady at any angle. Lock the back lever and tighten the securing knob. Lock the tilt axis. Let's unlock the roll axis and check which direction the camera leans to. Loosen the top securing knob and unlock the back lever. Use the knob on the bottom of the camera's fixing frame to slide the camera to the left and right. The camera should now remain still when rotating. Tighten the securing knob and close the back lever. Lock the roll axis. Let's unlock the pen axis. Lift one side of the grip and check which direction the roaning is leaning. Loosen the pen axis lever and adjust the knob to move the camera backwards or forwards. When lifting one side of the grip, the camera should now remain still in each position. Tighten the lever and lock the pan axis. Now the Ronin is balanced. Use the lever at the back of the West to adjust the height. Make sure that everything is tight, especially the hip support, as it carries the weight. Notice the sign on each arm, push in the pin in line with a hole and hear it click. Rest the arms down on the support cables. Slide in the adjustable support cups and lock the screw. The position should fit with your arm length. The armorman is now in off position. To activate the support arms, rise your arms above your head and hear it click. Do not lose the arms loose. To deactivate the armor man, drag the release cable and rest the loose arm on the support cable. 